There is none like you. There is none like you. No, 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 no one. I 
church from 7 30 so you can have for it so rest well i don't want to hide on friday before we're going to push amen amen and the asap is going to be here minister judy going to be here to lead us in worship and so we know we're going to have a revolutionary time in worship amen so we normally begin early put them on early we're going to worship and we're going to bring the man in amen by god in just to flow you never know what's going to happen on friday amen so with my darling Mike is here. That's the M Rain. I don't know how many of us push explosion kiss. And then that's all the fish got for the day. And we also busy. Hallelujah. She was working secular, working spiritual. And so tell her we just mean I'm coming down the step and she's coming, she's coming up and I'll be passing. Ooh, watch your life to live. Where's a good life? <laughs> she's coming to now going out. Amen. So she's gonna introduce the speak out the preachers right here and the ministers right here. Amen. Just to get all the names. If you don't have them, I'll let you wave. Hallelujah. Yeah, Thank God for each and every one of you that made it here on tonight to our 17th annual spiritual explosion. Amen. That is doing my things in our land. Hallelujah. And this time we'll just like to greet some of our, uh, all of our ministers, apostles, reverends, pastors, right, right bishops. Tonight. Amen. So give yourself a round of applause. 
Hallelujah. And we welcome all our friends who um, are watching us um, now live via streaming. We welcome you tonight is our spiritual explosion night. Let's give a warm welcome from St. Thomas. Shout, shout. Oh, we're so glad we are live in the house. Amen. Hallelujah. All you do is multiply, go to Facebook, multiply, Twitter, multiply. Send it out via an email and know that we're here in St. Thomas and we're having an anointed spiritual explosion. I think the prophet said that some of his friends in England were watching. So let's say hi to the queen. Oh! You never know. You just might be somebody don't believe. Huh? Queen Elizabeth just might be watching us one more time. Not convinced. Not convinced. Our ex president might be over in Tortola also watching us. I, I tell you what, I, I, I was asleep on um, Saturday, just relaxing, and he woke me up, our first ex president, and I saw him come, come coming to church. I said, Nick, I said, Madam, what are you woke me up? I was into a deep sleep too. So you never know, he might surprise us. His entourage just might come by. He said, I don't really know where the church is in St. Thomas. Well, he goes to all the restaurants where that guy can't come to the. So we're looking like. Um, all right, we're going to introduce our. We're going to introduce our dancers. Right? We have our special dancers that minister all the time. We seem thankful to them. Uh, unity dancers. Come on down. Yes. Thank you. 
Website www. And in our church, you can use your cell phone and tell folk they can look at www.earlhazelministry.org. I go to my Facebook page, we are streaming there live. And then also, they can go to www.myneoralhazelministry.org and you'll see us live and you'll see a beautiful face smiling. So always put a little smile on you, never mind. <laughs> Hallelujah. So right now, let's all stand. 
Let's all stand. I welcome the man of God once again back to Global Life Church, St. Thomas. Amen. As he comes to minister the word of God to us. God bless you. We welcome you. Rise from the inside, from the inside of me, may you delight in the inside, in the inside of me, come fill my life. From the inside, from the inside, of me set me on fire. From the inside, from the inside, of me let praises rise. Come on, let it rise. From the inside, from the inside of me, may you be light. From the inside, from the inside of me, come fill my life, fill my life from the inside. From the inside of me, set me on fire. From the inside, from the inside of me, 'cause all I want is for you, is to be glorified. Let's go. 
for tonight, Holy Spirit. You are already here. For you are the way maker, miracle worker. Let the river flow. Let the rain of your spirit fall on us tonight. Refresh us. Replenish us. Revive us through your word. Holy Spirit, remove burden from our shoulder tonight and yokes that are around our neck by your power, by your anointing. Every yoke be destroyed. You get all the glory and all the honor. And the church say amen. Say amen. Take your seat, please. I honor our host pastor, Dr. Oral A's and Evelyn Abe. A's, God bless you. Come on, do it right. Our pastor Glaston is. I love you because you're buying me lunch today. <laughs> you know I love you otherwise, sir. That man, I don't know if I love. Praise God. Oh, Pastor Estre, please pray for his deliverance. We might see him at the altar for altar call. Hi, my sweet darling. Oh, you know, Pastor Angola, bless you. And all the dignitaries of the gospel, Apostle Perambel, all you pastors and ministers of mine, I know you by name, but we honor you tonight. We honor you for coming. Amen. And God is a God of covenant. And God is an honorable God. And because you honor him with your presence, he's going to honor you with his presence. Amen. I'm excited about the Holy Ghost tonight. Hallelujah. We had church last night. Thank you, Pastor Oral, for joining me out before the people telling me that I preached for three hours. <laughs> but it never feel like three hours. There is no time in eternity. Praise God. <laughs> but I will submit, amen. Last night I got high, and we weren't on marijuana at all. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a sweet spirit in this place tonight, and it is certainly the spirit of God. Amen. I started last night by, by telling you my role as a prophet and the, the prophet of God. When I was going to Bible school, they said this is the 5 4. And all the 5 4 is we are just caretaker of God's body. Amen. We are to take care of his body, build her up, edify her, and make sure her dress is ready, ready for the wedding day. We are not to abuse her. You can't abuse the man, woman like that. <laughs> we are the only person that God trusts on earth with his woman. Called the church. <laughs> so we mustn't eat her, wound her, nor abuse her, manipulate her, or control her. We are to love the body of Christ. Say amen. That's good preaching right there. Amen. And so the last time I checked the church, Jesus can't come here because she's still wounded. And he's not coming from no wounded woman. Anybody want to marry and wish he was a woman? No. Why should Jesus? So our job as FIFO is to heal the body. To build up the body. Amen. Are you with me? Is to restore the body. Amen. And so this is the apostle, they said. The thumb. Let's look at the thumb in the natural. The thumb is the only finger in the natural that have the ability to touch the other four finger. No other finger can. Sister, may you hurt yourself. She's trying to use other finger. So the apostle covers the body, not a denomination. The body. The apostle covers the body, not a denomination. 
when you come in contact with a true apostle of God, your life will never be the same. The apostle of God, not only a builder of building, but builders of life. He or she will build your life. Come on, talk with me. Amen. The apostle is the saint one. We know that. Amen. And he or she is responsible to bring governmental order to the body of Christ. He or she can go anywhere into the body. I'm not saying a denomination. I said a body. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. And so this is me on the the, the, the uh, five four. And last night we told you that the, this finger has two roll. Uh, this is the warner. This is what mama used when I acted up and said, boy, if you can't hear, you will feel. So the prophet is a warner. Say amen. amen. Not only is the prophet of God a warner, he's also a pointer. This is the finger that anybody asks you for direction. Uh, this is where, this is the finger you use. You're not going to use the thumb, you're not going to use pinky ka, pinky kakai. Amen? This is the finger you use. And so the prophet is a pointer. He points the nation, the church, individual institution into the direction and season that God would have them to go. You agree with that? Amen? And no true prophet of God will point you where you're coming from. Point you to the future. Because that's what prophetic words are. Not who you are right now, but who you're becoming to be. Are we clear? Hallelujah. God, Amos 3 said, never do anything in the earth until he first tell it and reveal it to the prophet of God. Anytime God is going to start or do anything, he calls for the prophet. Amen. Now, the church of the living God, Akim, is that you? Amen. Amen. I spot you out, man. Can't hide. I'm a seer. <laughs> Amen. If you're a seer, you must see. Amen. Hallelujah. And so the Bible says, hallelujah, the church was first built upon the apostle and the prophet. And last night I tell you, whatever starts a thing must finish the thing. And that's where a lot of people miss it. Whatever start your church, if prayer start your church, prayer must be the whole mark throughout the existence of that thing. Even if you get mega. Don't stray away from the thing that makes you big. Oh, come on now. You don't stray away from the thing that ex cause you to be known. It must be the evident throughout the existence of that thing. So if the, if the church was built upon the apostolic and the prophetic, then it must be seen. The apostolic and the prophetic must be evident in the church for the church to be effective, impactful, and successful. Do I get an agreement? Amen. So my assignment tonight is to point you and let you know the season that we're in. It is a great season. I said it's a great season. Uh, what is happening all around, we should capitalize on a church of the living God. We should not worry about what is happening. God already told us that when we see these things, uh, we should look up uh, for our time is coming. Say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The church is a spiritual and mystical body. I told you last night the reason why we are not that effective because you, you are trying to fit in. You are trying to be humans. You are trying to be normal. We are not normal. Look at your neighbor and say, stop trying to be normal. <laughs> Let me come down and check your pulse. Stop trying to be humans. That is our problem. We are supernatural beings living in a natural world, having natural experiences. We have the upper hand. <laughs> we need to shift into what God says we are. 
a lot of times we allow news and situation to dictate to who we are when God already said that we are well able to take the land. Uh, I'm here to tell somebody that you are better off than what you think you are. Because God said you are well able. Go and possess your land. But because you hear some news, you change your concession from what God says you are calling yourself a grasshopper. Who you have been listening to? We are well able to possess the land. And I told you that the Lord tell me to tell the body that this is how many know that they are seasoned in God. <laughs> they are seasoned in God that God can judicially by himself go inside himself and pull out a sudden and say, suddenly it's your time. Oh, you're not ready for me. <laughs> suddenly, it's your time. I feel a suddenly coming on tonight. God is God loves to surprise you. And he said to tell the body, he's going to shock you this year. He's going to do super stuff, mega stuff. Oh, come on. God is going to break his own rules and law just to bless you. You will hear it tonight and tomorrow night. In Jamaica, we have an old saying, Parson Christian Pitney Force. Interpretation. <laughs> the pastor look out for his own kids first. Bless his own kids first. Take care and spoil his own kids. Then if an earthly father knows how to take care and is uh, much less our heavenly father stay on the keyboard for me stay on the keyboard i feel an old time fashion evangelistic preaching coming on uh, somebody must have been praying i said our heavenly father he watches over us i trust in god for i know he cares for me. I am, I'm a body feeling this thing. You are a little Slap somebody and say, You are a little Oh, you could suck Stop focusing on what the devil is doing. He has to be devil because he's a devil. <laughs> God is doing way much more than a devil. You are a winner, you are a winner, you are a winner. <laughs> God said he's going to do phenomenal stuff things that are we serve an outrageous God and God is just extravagant and like father like son I'm sorry <laughs> we are crazy people just not trying to be sedated we are weird people look at your neighbor and say hi weirdo <laughs> we are peculiar people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's look. If we know anything about the prophetic image, imagery is very important. Colors are very important. Numbers are way important. Numbers to God, especially to the Jews, are very significant. Amen? And so it is very important for me as the prophet appointer to tell you the season that we are in. Amen? Hallelujah. Turn your Bibles to Joshua chapter 10. Verse 12. Hallelujah. Joshua, where is our reader from last night, my darling? We have a mic. Read. Hallelujah. And I'm not going to be long tonight, praise the Lord. I'm always, I'm almost done already. <laughs> I'm teasing you, Dr. Cora. Go ahead, my dear. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. And an excited God. The church of the living God needs to be excited. Huh? Amen. Joshua 10 what? 
verse 12, my dear. Okay. Joshua 10, verse 12 says, hmm. what it says. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. Wow. 12 okay. and 13. Then Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, and he said in the sight of Israel, Sun, stand still over Gibeon, and moon in the valley of Ajalon. So the sun stood still, and the moon stopped, till the people had revenged upon their amen. enemies. Amen. Say amen. amen. Say, it's my time now. It's my time now. Hallelujah. According to the scripture, according to the Bible, let's see the source of the origin of this number 17. Amen? 17 represents and symbolizes overcoming the enemies. Because I have more than one enemy. 17, according to scripture, and I'll give you scripture, symbolizes overcoming the enemies. I still don't hear the church. Let me refine. Me. Anybody have any enemies? Then this season, God says, you are already an overcomer. This season, we're just going to walk in it and reinforce us being an overcomer. Amen. Say amen. amen. The enemy has done so much to us last season, last year. But God says, in this season, you will avenge your adversary. You will overcome. Say overcome. Jesus said, because I overcame, you will overcome. Hallelujah. Not only, not only, whatever that used to beat you up, this season, as an overcomer, you are going to beat it up because you have the upper hand. Uh, the church don't get it. You have the upper hand. There's a flip in the script and the table has been turned. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, they don't believe me. I soon come to you. Not only, not only 17 mean overcoming the enemies. Huh? Some of us, we have so much enemies. Sickness and diseases is our enemies. Uh, in this season, you shall overcome. I said, in this season, you shall overcome. Poverty is an enemy. You shall overcome. Whatever used to stop you and end you shall be no more. For God says, in this season, I will cause my people to triumph. Hallelujah. Not only we will overcome the enemy, one of the greatest enemy and weapon that the enemy use against us is intimidation. And intimidate the people of God. But this season you will intimidate the enemy. Uh, <laughs> I said in this season you will intimidate the enemy. Hallelujah. Not only something means overcoming, it also means victory. Not, 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 not any kind of victory, but complete victory. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I say complete victory. I come in with scripture. Hold on, no man. God, no, God is an extravagant. He could have just said victory. But that wouldn't be our God. God says, what I started last year, I'm going to finish it. May I borrow Jesus' last word on the cross? It is finished. Can you be Jamaican for a minute? Say, it on. <laughs> I don't care what you are going through. I don't care who is against you. Since God be for you. I said, since God be for you, who can be against you? Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
complete victory. God says, I'm going to complete what I started in your body. What I started in your body. Diseases and sickness have been eating up your body. God says, I'm going to finish the torch. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The final torch in this season. You shall be whole. You shall be whole. I'm prophesying to somebody. I'm talking to somebody. You shall be whole. Somebody pray for me and I felt it. I sense it. Somebody pray for me. You will not be sick for the rest of your life. You will overcome sickness and diseases. Shout hallelujah. Makasatalabahaya. Rabakusataya. Uncommon victory, a complete victory. So finish it, God, finish it. Finish it, God, finish it. Yeah, yeah. You got to see it. He's going to finish his work. And who will wait to last at you? Shall not last at you. Shall not ridicule you. Because God is fighting for you. Fight for them, God. He is fighting for the church. And according to scripture, he has never lost a fight. So you are already the winner. Ah, uh, you're not acting like you are the winner. You're not acting like you are the winner. Do we have any winners here? Do we have any winners here? Shout! Shout! There's a breakthrough anointing in here. I have a feeling that the Holy Ghost is going to break some people free. Uh, this year, no more prisoners for us. Uh, no more prison in our mind. Uh, no more prison in our body. No more prison in the ear of your silence. Uh, break loose. Break yourself loose. I am overcoming. Conquer to conquer. Victory to victory. Why somebody shout at me? That's what God says. And sorry. This is where sentient derived from. God overcame the sins of rebellious human beings. Let me take my time. God overcame the sins of rebellious human being when he began to flood the earth through rain on the 17th of the second Hebrew month. Scripture supported. God overcame the sins of rebellious humans when he began to flood, purge, and clean the earth through rain. Rain represents, there are three levels of the anointing. Three levels. One, the well, which is conversion. Come on, talk with me. And two, river. Out of your belly shall flow rivers. The highest level of the anointing is the rain. Come on, talk with me. It's the rain. And this is why God, through the anointing, through the word, through the rain, he overcome. As long as you're anointed, you will always be an overcomer. Lord of mercy. The rain represents the anointing. And the anointing is not a thing, it's a person. Come on, talk to me. <laughs> the anointing is a person lives in your spirit and it's in your belly. Touch your belly. The Holy Ghost is the anointing. Ay, 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 ay. Acts chapter 10, 38 tells us that. How God the Father anointed Jesus the Son with the anointed, with the Holy Ghost, don't stop there, and power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ay, 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 ay. You cannot have.
of Holy Ghost and all her power. Yeah, yeah. Holy Ghost general power, come on, talk to me. The anointing in us, so we don't see anointing fall on us. In the Old Testament, he never officially, even though he visited the earth, it wasn't his official coming to the earth. So in the Old Testament, the anointing would fall. And Samson would say, and the Spirit of God, that's the Holy Ghost, would come upon me. But in the New Testament, we don't say anointing fall on me. We say rise in me because he is in you. Touch your belly. Say, I have power in me. Tell your neighbor, be careful of me, you know. I can explode in a moment. You have done the might in you. And the last time I checked, the every Christian has a sticker than the might in you. And the only threat to dynamite is water, Christian. I mean water. Uh, you can't sit down beside my water, people. They will hold on with your dynamite. And the last time I checked, the purpose for dynamite is to explode. When was the last time you exploded? Uh, when government want to make our way through the hill and the mountain, they use dynamite and blast their way through. What is it that is hindering you? Switch for the dynamite of the Holy Ghost and blast your way through. I said blast so the Holy Ghost is the anointing and he lives in you the rain hallelujah this happened on the 17th of the second Hebrew month that's where 17 began Noah's heart and its eight passengers rested on the mountain of Hararat. That's how you pronounce it? Uh-huh. On the 17th of the seventh month. 17 again. On the 17th, and in this year, like Acus, like the heart rested, God says, rest my child. God is going to bring you to a level where nothing disturb your peace. No, no, my satire. The people not here. I, the ark rested. And God said in this season, I am going to ease my people from being diseased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. God says, no worry about your enemy. You lie down and you recline in chair. Sit back and drink your lemonade. And eat your fungi and burp on the devil. Somebody shout hallelujah. This is your season for rest. Your season for vacation. Your season for enjoyment. Your season to block out, block out, block out. For Jesus, it's time to rest. Rest from your cares. Rest from your trouble. Rest from everybody who is coming at you. God says uh, he's going to come uh, on top of your boat. I said, peace be still. And as the storm got to seas. Telling you what is in this 17. Uh huh. Because it was on the 17 month. Uh huh. The ark rested. Right in the middle, watch. <laughs> God is purpose in what He does, you know. We serve a purposeful God. The ark rested on the 17 month. You can study this right in the middle of God's annual holy period known as the Feast of Tabernacle. Yeah. Theologian, you can go and study. Now the Jews, they have a lot of feasts. But in the wilderness, God gave Moses instructions how to group these feasts of seven, seven major feasts. 
into three. One is in three and one is in four. Come on. And God told Moses to gather the people and come before him to celebrate these feasts three times a year. three times and the three times a year when they come to celebrate watch this the heavens are only open three times a year in prophetic season only the prophet can open the heavens and let it rain and you also have the authority to do so you know, a lot of times we talk about open heaven and some of us have not a clue what it's all about. That's why ignorance is killing the people, not the devil. The devil is not my enemy. God already whipped him already and make an open spectacle of him. So what we are fighting about is what Uzziah said. My people are destroyed because they don't know a thing. Knowledge means to know. My people, they act like they know, but they don't know. And God rebuked us and said, the devil kids are better than his. They are more wiser. Oh, you're vexed with me now. <laughs> are you hearing me? God says, my people don't know. They worship me without knowledge and understanding. And that's why we are not impacting our nations and our community. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why you have to spoil it? So the heavens are open three times a year. And the church in this prophetic season, and the church, the Jews, are beneficiaries of the open heavens. I'll come back to it. I'll tell you what happened in a open heaven. When you open something, I want to borrow. Yes, let me borrow this. Let me borrow. Let's, let's put some things. Let's pretend like some stuff is in it. Give me these tissue boxes. Amen. Everything in there. Come with me now, brother. Come stand up. Me preaching, that's enough work. <laughs> Praise God. Since God give us imagination, let us imagine it. This is the heaven. Right now, the heavens, this is not how it is it right now. I think, no, we, the heaven is closed right now and will be open from the, for the spring feast, the spring season. Come on. We are in the Easter season. Come on. Hallelujah. So the heavens open three times a year. It opens October the 4th. It goes right down for the fall feast. Because that's when the Jewish celebrate their new year. Come on. Uh, I'm not coming with heresies with you, you man. And so when the Bible says uh, in these feasts when the ark rested on God's holy feast, Christians are beneficiaries of the open heaven. When the heavens are open, it becomes vulnerable. In other words, God says the heavens are not holding back from you. In a open heaven, everything that is in the heavens, it's coming down on you. Open the heaven, brother. Open. Keep it open. This is how, when you open things, you expose it. God says, I'm going to expose the heaven on you. And everything that heaven has for you, you're going to get it plus more. <laughs> I don't think you get it, you know. Because God says, I am not holding back and made the heavens vulnerable for you. I'm going to give you everything that the heaven has for you. There is going to be a gushing force. Hallelujah. I declare hope on heaven over your life. I declare hope on heaven. Let the heaven begin to rain on you. Hallelujah. 
Malch, I come back on that title to talk about heaven. Because you and I have legal right to live under a hope and heaven. It was in the holy feast that the heart rested. Hallelujah. Are you still there? Hear the word of God tonight. You already, it doesn't matter what the enemy is trying to cook up. God already said you overcome. God already said you have victory. Even weapons that are not yet for. You have the victory over them. Oh, you don't hear it. <laughs> you have the victory. For God make you a conquer. Because when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God. And you know, thank you, Holy Ghost. I learned what a standard is the first time I went to England. I learned what a standard is. I often read the scripture, and the Bible says, when the enemy comes in, comma, like a flood, the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, raised the standard. Now, now, the standard, when you go to war, the standard is a flood. You can study it. The standard is a flood, and the standard never goes out. When the men go to war, a king never goes to war. The king only comes out, and when the king's com king comes out, the standard comes, the flag, the standard bearer along with the country flag and the king flag. And when you see the standard being raised, it means you have victory over the enemy. Go and enjoy the spoils. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the king don't go to war. The only time the king comes out is when the standard bearer raises the standard flag and says, we win. Oh, you don't get it, you know. It says now, we have conquered the enemy, and we and I are the winner. Now, if you conquer the enemy, you must go and possess your spoils. In this season, the enemy have your stuff. I am satire. Or am I talking to the church of the living God? The enemy of your stuff. And God says, I have given you clearance already because the Spirit of God already is the standard. The flag, the standard of heaven is always that is a right of King Jesus. No man cannot enter you. Church, you are already the winner. Go and enjoy the spoils. Mark the fire. Take back what the devil stole from you. Take back what is in Jericho for you. For Jericho has fallen. I said, I see a crack in the wall. I see a crack in Jericho. Hallelujah. The standard has been raised. Mean victory belongs to you. <laughs> I don't, am I preaching to the right people tonight? The Spirit of the Lord lift the standard, O oh God. The Spirit of the Lord, raise the standard. The Spirit of the Lord, raise the standard. One of the dancers, give me that thing that you said. Marco, give me one of the that look like a flag. I want to raise it. Come on, can I do some prophetic things tonight? I want to do some strange thing. The Spirit of the Lord is raising the standard. Shalomaka Sataya. Shalomaka Sataya. I want you to look with your very eyes. This is what the Holy Ghost is raising over your life. And this does not signify defeat. This represents the battle is already won. The battle is already Dancers get up and get the standard and raise it over the people. Let's do prophetic dance. The standard has been raised. The standard has been raised. I release your dancers, most people. God is raising you. The standard over your pastor. The 
to stand that over your ministry. Shalom, Kofata. Wave it over the people. Spread out and wave. This is what you will see all year. The standard, the standard, the standard of God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Kofata. Yes! Matoribosha. Matera Baba said, I raise it over your children. I raise it over your businesses. I raise it over your finance. I raise the standard. The Spirit of God. Set to raise it. Come on, come on, church. Flow with the Holy Ghost. Mama Baka Saya. I raise it. I raise it. I raise it. I raise it. Look at the Holy Ghost. Look at the Holy Ghost. It's upon you. It's upon you. Shaba Baba Kasaya. Lima Boko Satana. Raise the standard. Raise something in your hand, church. Raise something. Get something in your hand. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do it under the anointing. Do it with authority. Do it with an understanding. The standard has been raised. That's what really goes to tell somebody. The standard has been raised. Hey, yes! 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 yes. Come on, musicians, flow. The standard has been raised. Look at the Holy Ghost. The standard of God has raised. Over your life, over your life. I feel something, I feel something. Complete victory. Complete victory. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have the standard only, boys, that's it. We have the standard. Malakasaya, Malakasaya, that's it, girl, that's it, that's it. Malala, shaka ta 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 ta. We make a hill of rain, shine on, shine on the darkness, my God. Come on, we are the standard. Shine on, my God, we are the standard. We make a. Oh, you see something in the Holy Ghost. Shut up, shut up. We are the standard. Hey, 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 hey,
I see somebody walking out. I say enough is enough. I see somebody saying, I heard the word tonight. And I claim in it, I claim in it, I claim in it. You have all right, you have all right. I'm going to finish. I feel the Holy Ghost. God says, you will not leave here like you came. I said, you will not leave here like you came. Uh, this is not just an ordinary prophetic thing. Huh? Come on, God says, you will not leave here like you came. God said, this is the season, 17th, where you operate at a certain level. I hear that Holy Ghost. The hark, God is purpose. The hark could have landed and rested in the plane or anywhere else. But it landed on the mountain top. Every time God is speaking to his prophet and his servant, he's always up there. <laughs> it's always on the mountain top, either on Mount Ararat, Mount Sinai, Mount. But God never speaks to the servant of God down there because he's not expect you to be down there. And the reason why we are not seeing the results that we ought to see, because we are operating down there. <laughs> God is expecting us to come up into his environment. He, a lot of times we say, oh God, come down. And he doesn't mind coming down, but he doesn't mind you coming up either. It's more better for us to go up. That's why... All the time he's talking to his servant Moses and other prophets on the mountain top. Come on, man. Because he, he says you are the head and not the tail. Above all and not beneath. And this season, where the ark rested on the mountain top, God you expect you to operate on the top. Top level. Top secret level. <laughs> it's not everybody is privileged to top secret. And to the top. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, talk with me. You got to operate from the level where God put you. Yeah. Stop operating below your privileges. <laughs> Start to operate as spirit being. From an Eden level. <sighs> it's time for elevation. <laughs> I speak that over you. Because this is a season. God says, not, we're not going to lose altitude. We're not going to descend. Come on, a man. We are not going to descend like no plane. We're not going to. We have been enjoying 37,000 feet. We're staying up there. God says you will maintain your altitude. Ah, shut up, Makasaya. What? <laughs> it's time to maintain your altitude. Maintain your elevation. Because we have a tendency after conferences, we resort being down here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, say, look at your neighbor and say, maintain your altitude. 
Ah, scripture never tell us, let's descend. It says, ascend into the hill of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, it's time to ascend. Ah, and we gotta stay up there. We gotta stay up there. Ah, no dipping, no dipping, no dipping. I declare the eager spirit over you. The eagle, oh Lord, it's upon me tonight. And the eagle is the only bird that is privileged by God and anointed by God above the other birds. He is permitted by nature. He doesn't fly. Christians, you have been flying too long. Change your startup. It's time to soar. The eagle lives in the mountain. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to soar. The eagle has the ability to soar in the atmosphere, the stratosphere. There's another fear. Ah, uh, there's a, that same one. <laughs> And because of its ability to soar so high, when the storm comes, it does not affect the eagle. Because a storm is only limited. Storms are limited. You're not getting this thing. But when the storm comes, because the eagle has the ability to sense the storm from afar, and she prepares herself for the storm. And the Bible says we are eagle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when the storm comes, it does not affect the eagle because he shifts into that anointing, that mountain top. Oh, yeah. I want you to shift into who you are. And don't let people disturb your spirit. Don't let storm bother you because you have an ability to soar above your storm. When the storm hit, the eagle looking down on the storm and singing like MC and I can't touch this. Oh, you don't like this. We are going to declare to our star, you can't touch this. You are untouchable in this season. I said you are untouchable. You are unstoppable. Look at your neighbor say, I can't be stopped. Oh, you don't believe it. Shut your mouth because you don't believe it. I'm looking for people who believe that you cannot be stopped. I am unstoppable. I am untouchable. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. And you are so about the storm. Look down on the storm. What you intended to be bad. God turn it around. The monkey face on the storm. No, 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 no. God touches. I hear something from the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Can I tell you what I hear? In this season, no footman. Because footman can't keep up. Come on, man. In the season, no footman. Chariot. But watch it now. Watch it. The Holy Ghost has to tell you. You shall outrun your enemies. Lord God. Because we are the season is overcoming. <laughs> Lord, if you, I hope the church getting it. I have scripture. The Lord said to tell you, you shall outrun Hayab and his chariots. Ay, ay, ay. Look here, a lot of time we rebuke Jezebel, but you need to talk to her husband. Hey, Ab, that the two of them are one. And that's the spirit that is working. The Jezebel spirit is to mute the prophet. Keep them silent that they run on vacation when they're not supposed to. I run behind. But they are husband and wife, Ahab. The Bible says, and the Holy Ghost came upon Elijah. And he out to run. Ahab. 
Lord Jesus. The enemy won't be for you no more. You will be ahead of the enemy. And the enemy cannot keep up with you. Acceleration. Acceleration. My God. My God. The enemy can't keep up. The enemy won't be able to keep up with you. The enemy. Oh, yeah. They can't keep up. They can't keep up. They can't keep up. Slap your knee and say, the enemy can't keep up. Oh, my God. I don't know if the church gets in the city. Watch it, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> you get something a while ago. Angola. You get it in a baby kick, man. Baby kick just a while ago. Ay! Maka Satala. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> the Bible says, Hey, I won't be before you no more. Jezebel won't be before you no more. If you overcome, Ahab, you overcome Jezebel. Because the two are one. No, Kassai. My God, what is happening tonight? Let me check the time. 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 You're not catch me tomorrow. Let me see it. 9.27. We have until 10 o'clock, you say. Praise God. And because God tell Joshua, son, stand still, me can't tell the clock to. <laughs> Do I have an agreement? <laughs> oh, I feel drunk, you know, I feel, I feel drunk, you know, let me drink too much of this Holy Ghost wine. I wish you could drink some too. Hallelujah. My God, my God. God says you will outrun Ahab and it's Sharon. That means you're going to beat the enemy when the spirit rises up in you. When it's the Holy Ghost going to do it, you know. I know you. <laughs> That's why we need Holy Ghost activating. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me see if we can get to Joshua, but let me finish. 17. You know. Wherever me done, me done. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Jesus. Watch this. Jesus gave Mahura. <laughs> you, you don't know me don't know what you're doing now. <laughs> Fast class start. I don't know what to do, sir. But let's just the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Jesus gain a complete victory. Not 90% victory. You will have complete I don't know if the church is seeing this, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Complete. I hear you. Esther, Esther 9. Esther 9, 1. Let me tell you the kind of victory you have. Find it quick now. Anybody? Read it loud. Please. Esther is a prophet. This book is very pro prophet. Esther 9. Holy Ghost just tell me. Esther 9, 1. Esther 9, 1. Quick. It's a part in your Bible that sticks together because you don't go there often. <laughs> <laughs> Who find it, find it. Who find it, jump up, none jump up. It's the 9-1. This is what is going to happen in this season. Watch it, watch it. Makalaba here. Maseke Bahuria. Read. Ma. Not one. Now in the 12th. They're giving you a specific. Uh huh. Now. Now in the 12th month. Uh huh. This is the month Ada. The month. Adar, Adar, Adar. Let me tell you what month is that. That month is a Jewish name, Adar. It's the month for March. You will begin to experience some things in March. Oh, you don't have to take my word for it. Go study, my man. Go study. This is a prophetic season. In the month of Adar, Adar, which is March, tell us what is going to happen. On the 13th day, some of you think that 13 is a bad number. 
13 is a blessed number because anything God created is a very good. 13 means promise. Uh huh. When the king had commanded, uh huh. And he sent out a law and decree to be put in execution and make a law in the day that the enemies of the church the word that you need to pay attention there is hope. <laughs> they hope to do what? They hope to defeat us. They hope to beat us up. They hope to have power over. But in the month of Adar, watch your march coming up. Uh, watch the season. Read, girl, read. Uh, uh, Esther, tell you, I know, Prophet Bonito, uh, Esther. Esther. Uh, because your enemy had dug gallows for you. Uh, Where name again, hey, man? Uh -huh. The enemy hoped to kill you. That's all they can do. That's all the devil can do. Hope. He can't kill you because you can't kill what is already dead. He can't touch you because God already decreed over you. You are an overcomer. Let every man be a liar and let God be true. And if God says you are an overcomer, all the devil and the enemy can do is hope. God have mercy. Read, pretty girl. Read. <laughs> Use the same night we're hearing you. Hallelujah. And uh, that the enemy had hoped to have power over us. It was turned to the contrary. Oh, what's well, it? Some virgin said, and the table was turned. That the Jews had ruled over them. What was it, sir? Some version again said, and the Jews now have the Ooh, upper hand. Over oh, Lord Jesus, watch. That it, hate them. Oh, work with me, girl. Work with me. <laughs> work with me. Work with me. In this 17 hour, in this season, it's, things are going to turn in your favor. <laughs> oh, I said, watch the month of Adar. Things are going to turn to your favor. Whether you have things in court and some people abuse you uh, injustice, God says, uh, I'm going to work overtime for you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. God says, I'm going to flip the script. But overturn, God is going to overturn some decision that all already made. Uh, say overturn. Say overturn. Turn it over. Turn it around. Kababa Kasataya. Some of you are going to get good news because God says, I am overturning the decision that I have been made. Why, Kasataya? You finish. You finish. You finish read one. In other words, who used to rule your last season? Or what habits? Or what things that used to dominate you? You now dominate it. Because you like the upper hand, the upper hand, the upper hand. Hey! <laughs> things that used to rule you, rule you no more. Things that used to overpower you, some weaknesses, uh, some diseases, uh, grow level account, bank account. That says you'll have the upper hand, the upper hand. This is the level, this is the level God is expected us to operate from. A upper hand experience. Lord Jesus. I release that anointing upon you because there's a shift. You are no longer at the bottom, you are now at the top. You have the handle, you have the handle, you have the handle. You will rule your enemy, you will reign your enemy, you shall trample upon the young lion and other. I go down. 
Jesus gained complete victory over death, grave, and when God resurrected him, listen to this, it's very careful, you can look it up. When God resurrected him, it was near sunset on the Hebrew month called Nisan, the 17th. The month is Nisan, N-I-S-A-N, and the day was the 17th, Saturday, April 8th, 30 AD. Hallelujah. So what is, what is, what is this saying on the 17th? You have resurrection power in you. Because you have the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. Where is he? He lives in you. So nothing around you must die. Because life is in you. Oh, Lord Jesus. Nothing. Watch this. Let me just take one minute. I got to take one minute. One minute and then we flow. Can I take one minute? Because me, me read Joshua, me never touch it. And I want to touch it and let you go. For you not to worry about your enemy. Because God is going to take care of them all at once. One time. God is going to gather them one place and deal with them. <laughs> oh, Lord, you know, know the God you serve, you know. Chapter 10, open with five of the Canaanite kings. Uh-huh. Joining forces together. They were enemies, you know. But they come together to destroy the people of God. When you see two enemies get together, trouble, you know. And these are five. Five Canaanite kings joining forces to attack the Gibeonites because they had made a peace treaty with the people of Israel. Uh huh, they trick Israel. Explain the background of the aftermath in Joshua 9. Uh -huh. But God allowed these five kings to gather together. And God told Joshua, today victory is in your hand. Not even nature is going to stop your victory. Say today. <laughs> God says, I Come on, I rule the sun, I created it. And if I have to break my own laws and rules to make you a victory, it's going to happen today, today, today. Lord of mercy, hallelujah. They played right into the hands of Joshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The battle is already belong to God. And God brought these kings together and gave Joshua and the Gibeonites a, a sweet victory that they have never done. The Bible said the sun stands still. The days were extra. The days were longer. God is going to extend and, uh, the time so that you can whip all of your enemy. Come on, talk to me. Stand to your feet up in here. Stand to your feet. It's victory time. It's victory time. I said it's victory time. Now, tomorrow, if you're planning of dying, you can't die till after tomorrow. God give me some instructions to do. Amen. Amen. We will come early, start early, because we're going all night, all night party. And if we have to, all of us, we're going to anoint the, min the ministers are going to work with me, and we're going to anoint everybody that came through these doors. Is that all right? But tonight, it's a complete victory. So today, right now, I have victory over the enemy. I have the upper hand. Yeah. Yeah. They can't touch you. They can't touch you. 
I said they can't touch you. They can't touch this. <laughs> You might not be able to do MC or my dance, but be clear, they can't touch this. Press the sip on your head, you can't do it. <laughs> Hallelujah! Before we flow some more in the prophetic and do some victory chant and dance, amen, we want the worshipers to come and get ready and dance as your job not over. Some people have to dance the way out. Some people have to shout the way out. But whatever you have to do, we're coming out. So, hey, man. Please allow me with the same enthusiasm and understanding. We're going to worship God in our giving. It's time for you to shout. Oh, it's time for you to shout. My God. Sometimes you have to give your way out. We have a budget and last night we, we collected about $700. We are very transparent with the money that you gave us. Amen. We want to do better tonight. I need at least over about say 10 people who get so hundred dollars tonight. Amen. Just put up your hand. Quick, let's go. Let's sew into the I see one. I'm not, I need nine more. Let's go. Let's go. Two, three. I see three. Four. Amen. It's here. Five. Hallelujah. Five. We need five more. Come on, people of God. Sew into six. Let's sew into this anointing. And and for those, I see seven. Yeah, you're all here. God told me you're all here. Um, those who want to sew using a card, debit and a credit card, my sister, Apostle Turnberry, look at her in the back, wave your hand. So if you want to take your $100, any amount of your card, please go to the back there. You're not disturbing the service. Let's give a real good offering. We don't want to leave the man of God in any debt. For those who are watching and streaming, uh, the information is already provided, Apostle. You want to come, those who are, are in a internet land, give them the instructions how to give. Hallelujah. PayPal or whatever, go ahead, sir. Tell them how to give. Good. Those who are, and you can give in PayPal also if you're here. Just go to our website, www.globallifechurch.org, and you can give on the PayPal there, or www.allhazelministry.org, and it will come to the church. And also, if you're listening to us, right under the streaming television you're watching, there's a there are a number of um, different areas that you can give, PayPal and some other instruments. So you just touch one, it will open, and you can deposit um, your gift right there. Amen? Amen. We are better. Amen. So that we need, we, I think we have the 10. Uh, those who are sowing the $100, could you come? Could you come? Come, 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 come. Those who are sowing the $100, come on. I think I counted 10 people. Come and place it at my feet. Thank you, Pastor. Bless you, bless you. Just give me something on the main street. Come on. Bless you, bless you. Come, come. Those who you put up your hand, and those who... There are people sowing $100 by card. Let me know. Yes. Ah, and they're going to also fill out a card too. And they I fill mean, out the card. They'll fill out also the often envelope. Yes. Yes, so they can do that and they can drop the often envelope Bless. and just put card on it. Amen. Amen. Just let me know how much people already come to you sowing $100. Come, people. Bless you, my good old friend. Bless you. Bless you. You have three? Three already. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's get this. No, we're not getting out of the way. It's an act of worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So I think we got it. We got it. Amen. Are we, you have three down there. I'm sorry. We need two more. I thought I had ten. Amen. Thank you, my darling. We bless you. We have one more. One more. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for your obedience. Whatever, just begin to flow, people of God. We bless you. So into this anointing. Somebody else coming. Come on, mama, mama, son. Yeah, come on, worship team. Come on, get the thing going. Come on, I'm sick here. We're not yet finished. Those who are 50, 20, or whatever you have, could you all stand, please? Everybody must have a guest. Everybody must have a gift. Wait here, no singing yet. Come on, let's go into this anointing. 
but so into this anointing. When I say, could you come with your gift, whatever it is, and place it at my feet? Come on, quickly. Come on, and when you come in, declare, declare your victory. Come on, come on, come on. Play something. Yeah. Just play on the instrument, yes. Faithful, faithful. Yeah. All the needs for the conference will be met. No outstanding, no outstanding bill. Yeah. For the people of God are responsible. Come, don't let nobody stop you. Come, come, come with your fifties, your twenties, your ten. Ah, oh, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Shandaba eke bo osha. Sandalaba ya ya mama. Salala mama. Da 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 da. We bless you in the name of the Lord. You have the victory song. Shada da 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 da. Da 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 da. Come on, search his spirit. Shada da da da. Only the God. They are the works of me. You are the most I God. Do it, God. Do it, do it. There is no only other God. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are going to dance or we are going to prophesy as the Spirit of God direct. Amen. 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 Tomorrow is the final night, Doctor. Is the final night. Then Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. Uh, we, we, want to, we want to do something and we want, we want to bless. Uh, there are so many things happening. As uh, this man of God, we have our newspaper, cable, and we have bills. We want us to clear everything tomorrow. And besides, you have to take care of the prophet so that I can buy a, a, a purple wig for mommy. <laughs> My mother is a <hot> girl. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Come on, we ought to bless the servant of God. I don't have a problem with that. They, they always take care of me. But we want to, to those who came this evening and you didn't have, uh, we want you to make a pledge. We're going to give you an envelope and you bring it back tomorrow. Is that all right? Is that all right? Is that all right? Talk to me, my man. 
So those who want to pledge a, a hundred or fifty or whatever, I want you to come and take an envelope and go back to your seat and bring it tomorrow. You might not didn't have it on you, but you'll bring it tomorrow. Please feel while we worship, please feel to come and take an envelope for me. Is that okay with everybody? Whatever seed that the Lord lay upon your heart, I want you to take an envelope. I want it to be a tangible seed and come and bless this prophetic explosion. Amen? Take it away and let us worship. Let us worship. Come on, let us worship. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Come on. Come, come for your envelope. Shaka Satara Mama Come on, hallelujah. Lift up your heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are going up. Sing with God. We are going up together. Everybody going up. We are going up together. I mean, say the name of the Lord. We are going up. We are going up. We are going up. Thank you. We will not to conquer in the name of the Lord. We are going up. We are going up. We are going up. We are going up. We are going up together. We are going up to conquer in the name of the Lord. not worshiping like an overcome at all. Huh? No, no, no. This is not the people of God who just received the word that you are an overcomer. You must act like it. Uh, come on, talk like me. Come on. Are you ready? Are you ready to tear the Jericho on? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hallelujah. Say, we are going up. We're going up together. Lift up your hands. Tomorrow we'll, we'll pray and bless everybody. But let me let me follow what God told me to do tonight. Is that all right? God says you haven't seen anything yet. Because of your faithfulness and your willingness, God says today, right now, things totally turn and change. I'm not, that, I'm not just saying this. I stand in the office that God placed me as the prophet of God with all humility. I lay my hands upon you and I declare what Jehovah says. Complete victory. You ain't seen nothing yet. A Cyrus anointing come upon you. Right in the Asiana. Kia mama. You will have the upper hand. You will have the upper hand. 
you will have the upper hand. God has seen the spirit of the Lord working in your home and doing something uniquely in your home. Turn it around. Come on, I don't need you to descend. I need you to stay up here. Come on, Masia. Father, we thank you for this woman of God. I see open doors of traveling and speaking and invitation coming in. Watch doors begin to open, said the Spirit of the Lord, because of your faithfulness, because of your faithfulness. God is going to do it. Say, do it, Lord, do it. Come on, come on, lift up. I need to hear the minstrel. I need to hear the minstrel. Turn it up some more. I need to hear the minstrel. Come on, lift up your hand. Come on, worship Salama Kuria Mamaya Mama Salama Kura Baya Baya Bosama Same Same I wish you could have some worship. Love a river flow to my love your mind is love River flow be refresh River flow
I know these two people. I don't know if you're a couple. But the Lord says you have been through much. You have lost much. But the Lord says the river. You are tree planted by the river. I declare greenness over you. I declare lushness over you. Many people see you. It was tight for your last season. It was so rough. But the river of God is here. <laughs> the river of God is here. Uh, God says, it shall not be so in this season. For your help has come, your help has come, your help has come, your, your help has come. We undergird you with his grace. We undergird you with his grace. God says, Roll yourself up. Throw yourself in this water and be replenished. Be refreshed. Not only the river, but I release the wind of the spirit to begin to blow. <laughs> blow, wind, blow, blow, wind, blow. <laughs> Can we go with the Holy Ghost? Blow, wind, blow. <laughs> Watch it. Promotion, promotion. Do it again, do it again, do it. Contracts. I don't know what you do, but I heard contract. Things won't be odd like it was last year. God says, I'm going to honor myself in you. 
you will not be in the background no more for God says I'm pulling you from the backside of the desert and I'm bringing you to the front your pastor's eyes will cast upon you it's time to go to work man of God <laughs> say not like Gideon I am the least for God chooses ordinary people and there's nothing ordinary like you there's nothing ordinary about you watch the power of God transform your family receive that anointing receive that anointing blow it blow it blow it blow we're closing now the wind of God is blowing the wind of God is blowing Spirit of the Lord says complete elevation complete acceleration complete manifestation in this season God says take it because it's yours by right, by birth God says you will begin to see changes around you even in the year of your ministry I see where the enemy has been using the tool of frustration to frustrate you. Ah, but God says, Sivory, we cut it off, we sever it from you. You shall have to the victory, conquer to conquer. Ah, and you shall win because you have the upper hand. God says, I will increase this anointing upon you. Ah, I increase. As your responsibility grew, God says, I will increase this anointing. Rabasa, I release the Deborah anointing upon you. Oh, you will be a vicious war woman. Kibala, Nekesata, Riyamaya, sing the song of Deborah. I heard that in the spirit. I don't even know if Deborah said, but Drake George. But the sign that in scripture and wash, sing that song of the Bora. God says, sing the song of the Bora. Sing it over the enemy. And watch the enemy will come to you in this season. And he will ask for your very forgiveness. Shatara Masa. Some things that was done to you wrong. God says, I reverse it. You don't have to go to them to come into you. <laughs> Uh, this is what is happening in the season. Ah, you know? oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Justice. Justice. My God. Because our God is a God of justice. <laughs> Lift up your hand. Father, we thank you. We thank you for tonight. I hear Arlene. Arlene. I hear the name Arlene. Arlene, we declare over Arlene what God says Arlene is. Amen. Praise God, she's not here. Lift up your hand. Father, we thank you that you give us complete victory over the enemies. <laughs> what used to hinder us will hinder us no more. We are moving forward. We are moving forward. We break every cycle. We break the same old, same old. We come out of the same old, same old. Ah, uh, it will not be business and church as usual. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Can I get some? Shout hallelujah! Oh, you are shout hallelujah! Oh, you are so hallelujah! I hear the Lord says, to the men of God, position yourself. 
Men and women of God, lift up your hand. Pastors, ministers, lift up your hand. Could you come? Could you come? Could you come? This wasn't planned, you know. Men and women of God, pastors, leaders, 5 says don't settle where you are don't be distracted I know the business is doing good <laughs> but God says don't settle don't settle my can you receive that from your friend my darling for God says the grass will become green again for traveling. <laughs> Don't settle. The business is temporary. I begin to get people in place. For God says, the grass are growing again and getting green. And you soon start to get busy. Watch this year, watch this year, watch March, March, March. Yeah. I hear the Lord say to tell the, the FIFO, position yourself. Position, can you receive? Position yourself. Uh -huh. For some things are coming into your hands. I see keys. I see titles. I see land. I see land. Real estate, yeah, man. And come on, favor. The churches in St. Thomas now will begin to shift into ownerships of some prime real estate. You will take over radio stations. I am a mama, sir. Get ready. Get ready. Easy to go. You will be called into the politics arena. We, we, we were talking about it, but God says, uh, you will stay mutual, that's the key. And they will come and call upon you, they will visit your churches. God says, position yourself for a paradigm shift. Position yourself. He will bring men and women of influence and value, even from outside of St. Thomas, beyond these borders. God will bring them. There's a move coming to this place. There's a move because there's a remnant that have been praying and will not give up until they say, I hear just like, was it Simeon when he saw Jesus? Huh? Was it Simeon? Am I right? He says, my eyes. And God says, you will not die until you see yeah, my master. <laughs> you will not die until you see. Nah, till you see the move of God in an unprecedented way. And this is not a man movement. It's a God thing. And God says, I'm going to do it. He says, align yourself. Because the church now is out of alignment. And God says, align yourself. Because it's going to fall like never before. So position yourself. You will see power transfer. A change in the guard and a transfer of not only properties, keys and land, but power. It shall happen. Say this for the Lord. Lift up your hand and receive the wind of God. Receive the wind as the wind of God blow over you. Blow, 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 blow. 
know the song? I feel in this atmosphere. If you're here and you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, uh, you can come and we'll anoint you and pray over you. So if you're here and you know about the Holy Spirit and you have faith to believe that you have received the Holy Spirit tonight, you can come. We just take a little pause on the floor just to say, come. Take his coat too, take his coat too. Anybody, anyone? I just sense it. But I didn't want to just rush through you. If you're here and you would like to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, speak in the tongues of the Spirit of God utterance, you can come. Flow, 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 flow. 